parade of homosexuals in San Francisco, the largest gathering there ever, according to the police. About 240,000 men and women took part in the Gay Freedom Day Parade. It's an annual event, and the big turnout this year was seen as concern over the national movement to restrict the rights of homosexuals. I knew right away, the very first day, that this was going to change my life, June 25th, 1978. I mean, when that thing sailed out of my hands into the air, I went, oh my God, this is going to be the most important thing I'll ever do in my whole life. Up until the rainbow flag in 1978, the pink triangle had really functioned as kind of the symbol for homosexuality and gay rights. But it was designed by Hitler. It was put on us in the same way that they used the Star of David against Jews. There was a whole code of symbols that were used to oppress people, you know, Jews, homosexuals, gypsies, and on and on. So we needed something that was from us. Flags are about power. Flags say something. They're not just symbols. They mean something to people. And I thought we could have a, a flag kind of mean not a nation, but a global tribe. We needed something that didn't have to say gay, power, LGBT. We needed something that worked beyond words. And the rainbow fits perfectly. I, I didn't sit around making 20 designs. I knew right away that the rainbow would be the perfect fit for us because it expressed our diversity in terms of our gender, our race, our ages, and all the ways that were different and yet connected. And then using something from nature, taking the rainbow, one of the most beautiful, magical, spiritual parts of nature, and making that a symbol for our sexuality, for our human right. I called all my friends, I, I got a thousand dollars and I bought a thousand yards of fabric and we met at the Gay Center. I wanted the birthplace of the Rainbow Flag to be the Gay Community Center. I wanted all my friends to be part of it because I wanted it to be an expression of more than just my art, but the community. And you know, we kind of, 1978, in our kind of, you know, LSD way, made up the meaning of the colors, you know. Because again, it's a flag, it needed to have depth. And so I like the idea that each color would represent a kind of element of our, of everyone's life, you know, whether it was pink for sex or red for life. And, and you know, all down through the spectrum, the orange for the healing and the yellow for the sun, and obviously the green for nature, and the beautiful turquoise for art and magic, and the blue for, serenity and the purple for the spirit. It took, I guess, maybe a couple dozen of us. Hand dyed, the biggest mess you ever saw in your life. We, you know, stained. We like snuck into a laundromat late at night, filled all the wash machines, <laughs> and then we rinsed it out. And, you know, as we left, we filled them all with bleach and quarters, hoping, geez, I hope that somebody's socks aren't coming out pink tomorrow. <laughs> It didn't really dawn on me, or any of us, until the actual moment that the flag sailed out of my hands into the wind, and, and that was magical. I mean, it was a moment that changed my life forever. Then, of course, the first thing I found out when I went to the flag company to get help making them was that pink does not exist as a color in the very limited palette that they use for making flags, about 25 colors and, you know, told pink is not one of them. So uh, even though I was scrambling to find pink, ran out of pink pretty fast. And so I had to make a, a compromise, if you will, to adapt it to the six colors. It's really about the idea of a rainbow, and, th and that's really what it is about, the idea of all the colors, the idea of the spectrum. And so whether it's eight or six or 60 or 100, it doesn't matter. What hasn't changed, the thread that runs through every gay life, every LGBT person, is that we all have a moment in our lives where we come out to ourselves, where all of a sudden you're true to yourself, I'm gay or I'm lesbian, and that moment is what connects us through all the generations and all of our different stories. And that's the thread of the rainbow flag, is that single moment when individuals claim their own truth is true power. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here 
and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.